Oh, is there anything on TV? Oh, I forgot. I returned my cable box. Are you tired of paying a monthly subscription for your cable TV? Well, have no fear, guys, because with this Amplify HD digital TV antenna, I'm hoping that I can get a couple of channels for those of you who are on a tight budget. You just want some channels you can watch if you love watching TV, and but you also want to uh, forego the price increases, monthly contract, annual contracts, or the monthly fees. I'm hoping this will work. You can purchase the Jessobyte Amplify HD digital TV antenna from Amazon for around $30. What you want to do before you purchase this is to make sure your area supports this antenna. Now if you go to the set up and avoid obstacles, put this in your browser. It will take you to this uh, FCC page. What you want to do is click DTV reception maps right here and enter your zip code to see what available channels are around you. And it looks like I have all these channels. Some ranging from strong, moderate, down to weak. According to this website, antennasdirect.com, enter my zip code and it looks like the TV stations are within under 35 miles. See how it's ranging from 22. Most of them are 22. Now it advertises that it will pick up these channels. I doubt we're going to get close to that many. <laughs> it says free view channels, full HD TV, upwards to 4K support. We'll see about that. Multiple installation setup. It's very easy, all hardware included. And on the back, uh, shows you the frequency, some technical information for those of you uh, who are a little bit nerdy or geeky. <laughs> But the more information, the better, right? Keep away from these appliances. And like similarly on the Amazon page, here's how to set it up. Basically, you want to face the direction with the strongest signal. Here we go. Let's go ahead and box this. So previously, I was with Comcast. I think I was paying like, oh my goodness, like over $100 for... Very basic cable and their um, lowest internet plan that uh, is too expensive. All right, straight out of the box. Looks like everything comes in this big Ziploc bag. What do we have here? Got some double sided 3M tape so you can uh, mount it on a wall or window. Now here's the antenna in itself right here. It's like a privacy screen filter type. Here is one of the uh, USB charge port to an AC adapter, 120 volts. You have the uh, limit lifetime warranty. Within 14 days, you can activate that. Some more pro promotional card, a user's guide. This should be pretty much straightforward. Uh, basically, you want to use a coaxial cable to plug into your TV. All right. Here's the coaxial cable, which is for the antenna in or the cable in to back of the TV. Here is the USB power cable. That's for the, this is acts as the uh, amplifier. Here is the external amplifier with the LED light and also the switch. And this is the antenna in itself. It's a somewhat flexible plastic, like I said, similar to a privacy filter for laptops. Let's go ahead and hook it up to my TV. So I'm not doing anything fancy such as connecting it to a digital tuner or a converter box. I'll be using the first option, which is connecting it to the antenna with the amplifier. So as you can see, I currently have no channels that's viewable. So 
So before I actually mount the antenna with the 3M tape, I just want to temporarily find a location where I get the strongest signal. And then now I'm going to plug in these uh, inputs into my TV. That's the old Comcast coaxial cable coming from the wall. I'm using the coaxial cable from the antenna, plug it into the TV. And now I'm going to plug in the USB amplifier to the USB port on my TV. Now if your TV doesn't have one of these USB ports, don't worry because it comes provided with this uh, USB power adapter, which you can use. So on the um, amplifier right here, you have a short range and long range. Default to short range, which is uh, less than 35 uh, miles. If the tower is uh, long range, over 35 miles, you want to switch it to long range. Switch its color from orange to green. All right, now I'm gonna go to my TV's scanning function. Go to the menu, depending on what the TV is. This should be listed under antenna. Switch from the cable mode to air. I'm gonna go to auto program. I believe this is where you would search the channels. There you go. See, so it's going through its diagnostics, detecting what channels are available and what um, I can use. It's at 16% right now. I don't think it's detecting any on the air. See, it's zero. On the right, DTV, I guess that's, um, I assume that's HD quality. We will see once it finishes what it detects. All right, so it looks like um, 10 channels are memorized, okay? Now it detected those channels. I'm gonna go to the channel list. That's what it memorized as being able to be watchable. All right. You get more healthcare. That's one of it. Not bad, huh? Advantage plan. Oh. But see. Oh, there goes a failed one. All right, pop that up again. It's intermittent. Um, what are these channels? What's this? Uh, movie channel. Decade. Star TV. Dental. Let's go to Q13 Fox. I think that's a local run. channel. East Precinct. Oh, that's better. Summer. Hey, what can I say? I can't complain. A uh, it's better than paying for a monthly cable rate. Sometimes I just want to have the TV on because it can get a little bit quiet in here, especially with the pandemic and working from home. I'm pretty impressed with this. All right, let's try one more channel. This is for kicks. Uh, the Drew Barrymore show right here. It's just crazy. But she not really bad, just not bad. Started now I'm going to see if I could just um, relocate my antenna so it doesn't, you know, I don't have to trip over it or put it all over the wall because it's ugly. Let me see if I can just put it back in the wall without affecting the quality. In the event the channels don't work, you what you want to do is, um, every time you want to use the software, you want to scan it. Let's say if it's a sunny day versus a cloudy day, that way you have to get the maximum amount of channel coverage that the antenna will provide. Sometimes you can get zero channels depending on the weather. See, it's a cloudy and dark day. What you want to do is play around with the settings using the short range or long range and also the different directions, whether it be north, west, south, or east, to determine which direction you get the most channels. And that's where you want to uh, use a 3M tape to put it on the wall or on the windows where you get the strongest signal. I downloaded this Compass app. So I had initially facing north. What I want to do is face east. And there's ease right there. I have it relocated up here into a higher location. Oh wow! So facing the east direction, using a long range, 
This is the most channel I've ever gotten with a search. 17. That's pretty amazing. I forgot to mention this before, but this is the front facing side. You want this facing out the window. You always want it in orientation. That's not uh, sideways or upside down. So here is upwards. This is the front facing out the window. And the back is facing the interior of the house. And now I'm going to use my 3M tape to tape it up. Let's go right there. Now my wires aren't hanging it's on the other side. I'll just tuck this in. Spare it and it was resting right there. Have my blinds down. This is much better. <laughs> 